Let's take a minute to talk about how to carve your Thanksgiving turkey. The carving of the bird depends partially on how you've prepared your turkey. Now, I prefer to cook them spatchcock style, but whether you've cooked them whole or spatchcock, the concepts are mostly the same. I like to take the legs off first to get them out of the way. On a spatchcock bird, that's as simple as slicing through the skin that's holding the legs onto the body. From there, I'll cut down along the natural fold in between the thigh and the leg and run my knife through the joint that joins them. Next, I'll typically remove the wing from the breast section by slicing through the base of the wing and the joint that joins it to the breast. While you certainly can carve the white meat right off the whole breast, I prefer to remove each of the breasts by slicing down alongside the breastbone, then following the curve along the ribs, essentially giving you a boneless breast, which is super easy to slice and presents really well. However you choose to break down your bird, make sure that you've got the the right tools for the job. The ATBBQ carving kit has got everything you need for turkey day success. So go check it out at atbbq.com along with our turkey guide and turkey kits. Thanks y'all, be good.